We are in overtime. Vigo, is there any historical figure in American policy, politics who you could see yourself portraying in a film? Anybody no. you admire? No. No? no. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you, don't I, you don't admire George Washington? No. <laughs> Why? Because he was a slaveholder? Yeah. Picky. <laughs> a good reason. So you don't go with the argument that it was just the way things were done back then. And, yeah. That's a, not a good enough reason. No. <laughs> anyway. Jelani, is it fair to compare the tactics of Black Lives Matter? So I'm guessing Mitt Romney is completely out. <laughs> is it fair to compare the tactics of Black Lives Matter to Occupy Wall Street? Who's doing that? Uh, yeah, I don't know that that's the, the case. I mean, aside from them both being protest movements on the left, I don't know that you say that there's a whole lot of basis for comparison. And the other thing I think is that uh, Black Lives Matter has a uh, organizational structure that's kind of become increasingly defined as time has gone on, and that didn't really happen so much with Occupy. Okay. Frank, do you think Hillary? No more, no more. No, no. You killed me already. Frank, you, you came out very feisty. I died. I yeah. I know I died. No, 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 you didn't. That was very entertaining television. Was that not entertaining? <laughs> but, no, honestly, I mean, you just came out loaded for bear. I don't know why. I mean, I've been known you for a long time. You've been on this show. You used to consult on this show. You just, you know, that's fine. But um, you, 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 you kicked some... my ass, but I still I have a gift for you. I didn't kick your ass, but you did have feisty with your Show it to them. What does that say? I already hate our next. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So, Frank, do you think Hillary's campaign slogans, I'm with her and better together, are working for her? I mean, you're the master of uh, changing people's minds with words. You go to your evil laboratory and come up with <laughs> Hey, I mean, Frank came up with the death tax instead of the, the estate tax, and everybody changed on that. I, I don't think she has a good team doing this, right? Those, those are not good, right, Frank? And I would tell her at the National Convention, no teleprompter. She's been doing this now for 25 years. Okay. She, she can do it. Really? She comes out, no teleprompter, 25, 30 minutes just looking straight at the American people just and saying... Just trumps it? Just like, <laughs> like starts going off on how great she is? And... <laughs> She speaks in complete sentences. That's I, not bad. I, I... <laughs> uh, Vigo, do you think living abroad has given you a different perspective on American politics? Uh, maybe. I think uh, just watching how people watch the, for example, a presidential campaign, uh, it's different than the way it happens here because there it matters. They really think about who's going to be president because we have so much power militarily and, also the, and what, economically. The news that you get, I mean, it must be much more informed than our horrible news. You can get, you can inform yourself here. You can. You, you have to work you, harder. Yeah, you have to, but yeah. you have to everywhere. I mean, That's there's, right. there's, there's right wing, left wing press everywhere, and uh, you have to make up your mind. It's just yeah. that people are lazy. I mean, when I drive, I drive across the country a lot, the United States, and um, I listen to the radio, and it's very difficult to hear anything other than a kind of scripted. <clears throat> right-wing oh. diatribe all the time, unless you get close to a major city and then you can listen to some, yeah. you know, alternative media that's more center or, maybe or, or liberal. A, maybe but... upgrade from the car you're renting. But I do. <laughs> to, to, to one with FM. Because uh, like FM is really coming around. <laughs> no, but I, 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 I do. No, I'm serious. I mean, you can't. Yes, I, true. AM <laughs> and FM. I, I, I realized that a couple months ago. But, uh, no, I get up every morning and I, and I make myself listen, no matter where I am in the world, through, you know, using my computer. I'll listen to, to, to Fox. I'll listen to Sean Hannity, Savage, all, all those guys. I can take about 10 minutes, right. 15 minutes. You're a better man than no, I can. No, but I, I want to hear. I want to yeah. hear what's going on. It's better to know no, what people right. are saying. Sure, you know? okay. But it takes work. Essie, will all the GOP elite boycotting the convention next week have any effect on Trump's candidacy? Now, both Bushes are not going, the last two nominees are not going, Romney and McCain. The governor of the state where the convention is being held is not going. Wow. Will this have any effect on Trump's candidacy? Yeah, probably elect him. N nothing that Antonio Sabato Jr. can't solve. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're in good hands. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, folks. You're a terrific audience.